It all began because Steve Moffat and I were travelling back and forth to Cardiff for Doctor Who on the train a lot and in our conversations we, we eventually fell to talking about how much we both loved Sherlock Holmes. And what we kept saying to each other was, you know, someday someone is going to think of doing that again. Someday someone is going to do Sherlock Holmes and Doctor Watson in the modern day. And then we, and we thought, and we'll feel so cross because we should have done it. And we had this conversation, I don't know, 20 odd times probably, over years. And we just thought, you know, we should just do this now, do it in the modern day. Uh, in fact, Steve said, you know, someone's going to do that. <laughs> and we thought, well, maybe we should do it. <laughs> Throughout the process, we've discovered, yes, accidental but perfect parallels between the Victorian era uh, and the, the era of now, as far as Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson are concerned. It became a very exciting idea to, to, to play with. Um, to, to strip away, as I've said before, literally strip away the fog from Sherlock Holmes. So rather than it being about the trappings, about the gas lamps, about the handsome cabs, about the top hats and frock coats, it's much more getting back to the original friendship between these two unlikely men uh, and them solving wonderful mysteries and having adventures. So I need to talk to an expert. Uh, every other piece of fiction is automatically updated pretty much. Um, but Sherlock Holmes is, uh, is become in the, in the Victorian era. Now, that makes a certain amount of sense. The fact is the detective stories, the racy, exciting, humorous, uh, gutsy adventures, they, there's nothing about them that's especially Victorian. So why not? It should please fans of the original stories because I think we really have striven to get back to what makes these characters alive.